Coming up next on Turnaround Steering. These cars that we see on the road on a daily basis are flying airborne as if a Hollywood stunt has gone wrong. I'll give you a theoretical thought like I always do. An all new episode of Turnaround Steering is coming up next right here on YouTube. Warning, the video that you are about to see may not be suitable for our young viewers. Due to the graphic nature of this content, viewer discretion is advised. If you're ever thinking about texting and driving or falling asleep while on the road, this can happen to you. Stay tuned for another edition of Turnaround's Theory because later on, I'll give you a theoretical thought to this particular episode. Fellas, it's time to take these people back to driver's ed. Y'all know my saying and y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll the intro. What is up everybody? Once again, it's your boy Mr. Turnaround, aka Tenacious T. And I want to welcome you back to another edition of Turnaround Theory, only on YouTube, where I give you guys a free theoretical thought on eh, just about anything. Hey, listen, if you are new to my channel, I personally want to welcome you. And if you are, in fact, a returning subscriber, welcome back. As a constant daily reminder, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. It would help out and it would be beneficial for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because... You, my friends, will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. If you want to follow me on all social media sites, links are provided in the description box below. If you want to contribute to my YouTube channel, there's also a link in the description box for that as well. And if you want to check out full episodes of Turnaround Theory, the official website is also going to be posted in the link in the description box below. And please don't forget to use the hashtag Team Turnaround. That lets me know personally that you are watching this particular episode of Turnaround Theory and you are supporting the channel. And I might just send you a shout out right back. I hope I covered everything in this matter. So please join me and let's hop on in to another edition of Turnaround Theory. Before we proceed on into today's episode of Turnaround Theory, I must caution all of our viewers that the following videos that you are about to see may not be suitable for our young viewers. So please be advised. These videos that you're about to see today may not surprise you, but these cars that go airborne, they think that a Hollywood stunt will be successful, but instead, they go so airborne causing a whole lot of dangerous car wrecks as if a Hollywood stunt gone horribly wrong. Watch a few of these videos, and I'm gonna come right back. Say worst of times. Oh, 
yard long. Dozens of pedestrians with an SUV. No one was killed. That huge wildfire in Southern California has Oh my god! It was like watching a hunting hound speed up the deer or proudly muscle and flowing straight. When he ran, it was like watching the deer through all easy grace and surprising speed. Kit running. Damn! This photo tonight showing President Obama on the phone with Iranian President Rouhani. It's the first time leaders of the two nations have had to since the Carter administration. So Obama uses continue. Oh. I'll be right back with a theoretical thought for this episode right after this. Listen up. This could save your life. Intersection crashes are some of the worst accidents and they can often be avoided. When you're sitting at a red light and the light turns green, don't be in a rush to go. When the light turns green, take a few seconds to look left and right and make sure it's safe to enter the intersection. Someone might be trying to speed through the yellow light or texting while driving. We see too many accidents that could have been avoided with a simple traffic check. Don't be in a rush to go on a fresh green light. Those few seconds could make all the difference. And now, turnaround's theoretical thought. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Y'all know what time it is. This is my favorite part of the segment and it's time for another edition of Turnaround's Theoretical Thought with yours truly because I'm about to give you guys a free theoretical thought based on today's episode about these cars going airborne as if a Hollywood stunt has gone horribly wrong. Here's your theoretical thought for the day. Once you take your eyes off the road and if you look for one second, whether you're texting and driving or you fall asleep behind the wheel, chances are you could end up injuring other motorists and yourself, or even worse, in the hospital. Please pay attention to the road at all times and look out for other motorists. It could save your life and you could live to see another day if you learn how to avoid any kind of collision or any kind of fatal crash that you see on a daily basis on these highways. These highways were made to travel from one end to the other. Just drive safe and make it to your destination. That's your theoretical thought for today. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for watching another episode of Turnaround Theory exclusively on my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as a constant daily reminder, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. It would help out and it would be beneficial for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell. Because you, my friends, will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. For Turnaround Theory, I'm your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T, saying, Team Turnaround out. Next time on Turnaround Theory. Oh, God, dating is a freaking disaster. It's not a place you actually want to be in your 50s. They all go for the younger women. So my dating puddle, even though I am I think I'm pretty smart and I'm not bad looking, and I am as invisible to, I'd say, 70% of the men. So it goes to show, when women get older, it's their, their dating pool decreases. Time is on our side as men, and time is not on women's side. That's next time on Turnaround Steering.